Now with that, His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Henny Schuur. Thank you very much, Bill. And uh, while we're at the confluence, may I thank you uh, for chairing together with uh, Congressman Kilmer uh, the Dutch caucus. And as long as I've been ambassador, you have been chair. Uh, and uh, the Dutch caucus, the, 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 the friendship uh, association between the Congress and, and, and the Netherlands and you, I think the crowning achievement for you will be the, the, the visit of the Dutch parliamentarians uh, here and the relationship that has been established, I think has been uh, wonderful and very, very important to us. May I also thank um, our corporate sponsors um, of Holland on the Hill, uh, who make with their um, contributions these kind of events possible and who underline, I think, that corporations have a, a, a social re responsibility as well. And I'm very proud that these corporate sponsors, these Dutch companies, take up that burden and, and realize that they are more than companies. They have uh, a role to play uh, in our life and in our, uh, in, our, in our social life. So thank you very, very much for being here and making this possible. And this is a special event for us, uh, the Anne Frank uh, Award, an event where we recognize people, organizations who have um, contributed to what we think Anne Frank stood for. And it's remarkable that we still honor the memory of a young girl, a, a, a teenage girl, a refugee from Germany who came uh, to the Netherlands to, to escape uh, the Nazi re regime in Germany. And the family, Frank, had hoped that they would be safe uh, in the Netherlands, and in the end, they, they were not. Uh, in the end, uh, in 1944, um, uh, they were taken prisoners. Uh, they were discovered in, in the annex uh, in Amsterdam. Uh, and uh, the whole family, except for the father, Otto Frank, died in, um, the, in the camps in uh, Germany. And she left behind that remarkable diary that expresses her hope, her ideals for her future, her, her feelings by, while being cooped up uh, in, that, in that small annex and what she sees, what she, what she finds. And I think one of the, the beautiful things in the diary is she describes, uh, and that's the symbol for us also for the Anne Frank Award, she described the, the chestnut tree that's in the back of that house and she can look out, there's a, typically Dutch, we have roofs and then there is a, 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 a slanted window uh, that basically looks out in the sky and she can see just the top of that chestnut tree. Uh, she can see, she described the chestnut tree and behind that the blue, which is hard to imagine in the Netherlands, but the blue of the sky and, <laughs> and, and that's her freedom, that's her look at the outside world. And uh, I'm very proud to say that um, when the chestnut tree um, was dying uh, in, uh, in, the, in the garden of the Anne Frank house, we took saplings of the chestnut tree and distributed uh, mainly to here, to the United States. And in front of, of the Capitol here, there is a sapling of the chestnut tree. And that's really a, a, a physical um, bond uh, expression of the bond we have with the United States who were, together with the Canadians, our liberators, and, and Mr. French was, was part of that group of people who came to Europe and liberated us uh, from Nazism, uh, from, from the intolerance. Uh, and that's why um, we remember uh, not only Anne Frank, but we remember also in giving the Anne Frank Award which is only given to Americans. We remember our special bond with this country and we express that we will never forget 
what happened um, 75 years ago and who came to our, to our rescue. This year, in giving out the uh, Anne Frank Award, we wanted to express the idea of accountability. The idea of accountability, and we were immensely fortunate to be able to do that in a way in a timeline. In a timeline starting with the Nuremberg trials and having the only living prosecutor, uh, Ben Ferenc, as an honoree here for, um, for the Anne Frank Award, and uh, having Mohammed Al Abdallah as the recipient of the special rec recognition, which is on the other side of the specter. Ben Ferenc is the start, I think, in a way of many, of the accountability for crimes against humanity, war crimes, for saying to people who commit these atrocities, we will judge you. You will not be, you will not sleep anymore until you face your judges and we will, justice will be, uh, will be done. And that's exactly what Mohammed al-Abdallah is, is, is doing with his organization in Syria. There are horrible crimes being committed in Syria and what his organization says to those who perpetrate those crimes, we know you, we will document you and one day for you the day of judgment will come and we will sit in judgment over you and you will have to confront your accusers and you have to confront the crimes that you have committed. And that's why I'm also so very happy to have the president of the International Criminal Court here, who is in a way the line between the two of them. This is the first time that I think the international world has tried to bring a structure to accountability, to say there is an International Criminal Court and there is a court that will sit in judgment over those people in the world who commit crimes against humanity, who commit genocide, who commit war crimes. And I'm very happy and, and proud that Mr. Ferenc insisted on the invitation for you, sir, to be here, the president of the International Criminal Court, uh, a court that's based in the Netherlands, and we are proud to be the host of the International Criminal Court. And we, we, we definitely support its work and we think it's important that we have <coughs> accountability in this world. Especially in a country like the Netherlands, we talked about it yesterday, we are a small country. Uh, we have always relied on the rule of law in order almost to survive. We are not in a position to defend ourselves to a certain, uh, to the extent that bigger countries can do. What we, our defense is the law. Our defense is the law and our defense is people like Mr. Ben French who will stand up for us. And I remember we were talking about it yesterday. When you opened your remarks at Nuremberg, you said, I speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. I am their voice, and I think for us uh, to have something like an international criminal court, it's the voice for those who, cannot, who cannot speak for themselves and who are there to accuse those who have committed horrible crimes. So I'm very, I'm very proud. I'm always proud of our uh, um, Anne Frank recipient. I'm very proud this time as well, and I'm very proud that we can establish this timeline. And I'm very proud to say that we still can find in this world people like Mr. Ferenc, but also people like Mohammed al-Abdallah who take up the mantle and who take up the challenge to defend with the law um, our norms, our values, our way of living. And that's why you both get the prize uh, the special uh, rec uh, recognition. 
We are honored that we can do this, we can give it to you. We are honored for your presence and I'm very glad that I have a full room here to witness that. And I now would love to give the floor to uh, Rabbi Seperstein who will introduce uh, Oh, so, oh yeah, you're much better in the program than I am. <laughs> no, we'll have to film, and then after that, we have Rabbi Sebastian. Thank you very much. <laughs>